Charge on, installation demo. This demonstration shows you how to install Stripe configuration in Salesforce org. Let's go to App Exchange and search for Charge On application. Go to Charge On and click on Get It Now. Enter your Salesforce credentials and log in with your Salesforce org. Click on Install in Production. Select the checkbox for Terms and Conditions and click on Confirm and Install. Re-enter your username and password to log in again. Then select all users and click on install. Click on done once the installation is complete. After the installation, we need to set our Salesforce org domain name. Search for domain in the quick find box search bar. Click on domain. Else you can enter the desired domain name and click to check its availability and save. Now we will set up the payment feature on any standard or custom object. Make sure that you have these fields on the standard or custom object you want to map with the charge on object. So for that, let's go to the object manager and search for the object you want to map. For example, here we are searching for a custom payment object. We have four types of fields. Remaining amount. Amount paid. Tracking number. Customer ID. Please note, minimum length of the tracking number and customer ID should be of 30, else it will throw an error while doing payment. Now we will create a tab for charge on object. Go to object home search. In the quick find box, type tab. Click on the tabs. Click on the new button. After this let's select the object as charge on. You can select tab style according to the preference. Click on the next. Choose the user profiles for which the new custom tab will be available. Now, click on the next. Choose the custom or standard apps for which the new custom tab will be available. Click on the save button. Let's go to app launcher now and type charge on. Click on the charge on. Now it is available for the required app. We will now map the desired fields API name in the charge on object. For mapping, we will create a record. Click on the new button. To fill the API names, let's go to Setup. In Object Manager search for the object you want to map. Copy the API name from the Details section of the object and paste in the Object Name field. Similarly for other fields, switch to the Fields and Relationships section of the desired object and paste the API names of the fields and paste them. Please note that all the fields are compulsory for the mapping process. After filling the fields, click on the Save button. Our mapping is done. Let's go to Object Manager now. And search the desired object. Click on the searched object. Switch to the button, Links, and Actions section. After this click on the new action in the top right corner. We will select the action type as Lightning Component. Lightning Component is CYSP Stripe. And label and name is Payment. Click on the Save button. Quick Action Payment button is created now. Go to the Object Manager now. Select Desired Object. Click on the Page Layouts. Select the desired page layout of the object and click on the Edit button for Page Layout. Select Mobile and Lightning Actions. Find the Payment button. Then drag and drop the Payment Action button into Salesforce Mobile and Lightning Experience Actions. Click on the Save button. Now switch to Home Page. Tap on the Quick Find box. Search for metadata, so let's search custom metadata types. Then click on custom metadata types. Click on manage records of the Stripe context installed package. In manage record, you will get the option to edit the metadata. Click on edit. And clear the publishable key and secret key. And click on save. In quick find box, search for the Apex settings for deploying the metadata. Click on Apex settings. And click on the checkbox Deploy Metadata for Not Certified Package Versions by an Apex. And click Save. Now we have to create the remote site for the Stripe. In the Quick Find box search for Remote Site Settings. 
Click on New in Remote Site Settings and give a name to your remote site, and in the URL add the Stripe URL that is present in our installation guide. And click Save. Our remote site is ready. Let's go to Setup and search Custom Setting in the Quick Bind box. Click on the Manage button of Stripe URL. Click on the New button. And add the name URL, and Stripe URL is https colon slash slash api dot stripe dot com slash v1 slash. Click Save. To activate the trigger controller, let's go to Setup. Now search Custom Setting in Quick Find box. Click on Custom Settings. Click on the Manage of Trigger Controller. Now let's click on New. Enable Active checkbox. Then click on Save. Our installation steps are done and now we go through the payment functionality. Go to the App Launcher and search for a desired object. Click on the desired object. And create a new record in the desired object. For demo purpose we will create a record in the custom payment object. Please make sure that we have remaining amount, amount paid, tracking number and customer ID fields on the desired object. We only have to fill the remaining amount field and the amount paid, tracking number and customer ID fields will be automatically filled after doing the payment. Click on save to create record. Now we are ready to do the payment, so let's click on the payment button. Here we have two payment options, 1. Card payment. 2. ACH Payment If you want to pay using bank details then select ACH Payment. You can select Card Payment option if you want to make the payment by using the debit or credit card. Firstly we will have a look at Card Payment. It is a one-time payment, we pay full amount at once using it. To make the payment, we need to click on that Edit Keys option where we have to enter the public key and secret key. For the key information, we need to go to the Stripe account. Copy them and paste them into the fields respectively. Also on the edit key, we will find an option of currency change. If you want to pay in dollars then click on that checkbox or continue paying in cents. To pay in USD click on the checkbox and click save. After that, add owner name, email, card details and click on submit. As you can see, amount paid field is zero now and the paid amount field is also updated. It also shows the tracking number and customer ID fetched from the Stripe. Customer ID is linked with the email ID mentioned while doing payment, so if you are using the same email ID for another payment then that payment details will be linked with the same customer ID. Now we will do ACH payment, as you can see we already have the publishable key and secret key in the key section. So click save. Now we have to enter the owner name, email and bank details. Click on the submit button. And the remaining amount is zero now. Thank you for installing ChargeOn. ChargeOn, an application by Syntexa.